Kia year 11, 12 and 13. This is the second video from the first scholarship calculus session this year. And this one's looking at three log equations that look horrible, but are really pretty easy. If you don't like logs and you still don't like them after watching this, you need to go and get really comfortable with them. So the places to do that are Khan Academy and Education Perfect and the Delta textbook are all excellent places to go visit or ask your teacher. So the first one is this one here where we've got log to base b of x is equal to all of this stuff. I'm going to start by simplifying this and the whole thing will unravel. Remember when I'm solving I need to end up with x equals. So starting on the left hand side, leave the left hand side, we've got 2 minus a plus log to base b. Now I can simplify what's inside the brackets before I get underway. So I've got a squared times b to the power of a minus 2. Now I'm going to use my power rules and my product rule. So first I'm going to split it into two logs. I've got the log to base b of a squared plus the log to base b of b to the a minus 2, which gives me 2 minus a plus 2 log b, log to base b of a, plus a minus 2 times the log to base b of b. So remember that this is b to the power of what is b, so that's just 1, giving me 2 minus a plus 2 log to base b of a plus a minus 2. So we're just about there. Log to base b of x is equal to 2 log to base b of a, which is the log to base b of a squared, so x is equal to a squared. So that's that one done. Right, the next one. Where's it gone? Here we are. Same idea, except this time we're going to um, combine some logs. So go from separate logs into a single log. So let's start out by just leaving the left-hand side alone. And let's combine these two. All right? There's no one starting point. There are other places that you could have started. But I've spotted that I can turn these into a product. All right, so I'm trying to get log to base b of something is equal to log to base b over here. And this one I'm going to write like this. I'm going to use my power rule. 1 over a minus a is equal to 1 minus a squared. So this gives me 2 log to base b, 1 minus a squared, minus 2 times the log to base b of 1 minus a squared, minus the log to base b of a. Right, so this is applying the quotient rule for, product, for logs to this thing here. Now let's do some cleaning up. Well, I've got this. minus this, which is very nice, plus 2 log to base b of a. On the left hand side, I've got the log to base b of x squared is equal to the log to base b of a squared. Or, I could have just left it So I didn't need to do that step of putting the squares back. I've got 2 log to base b of x is equal to 2 log to base b of a. Okay, so I could just divide through by the 2. And then it's going to be really obvious that x is equal to a. So that's actually easiest to spot from here. Now let's just look if I have done it this way. If I've got x squared equals a squared, then... I could get, if I forget that I'm starting from a log, I might be good and say, oh, well, it could be the positive or negative value of a. But it can't be, and here's why not. If we go back up the top, um, if a is negative, then we're going to have 1 plus a, possibly also negative, and we can't take the log of a negative number. right? And so over here, the place to spot it is that we have to take the log of x, so x must be greater than 0. Okay, so even if you had got down to this point here, you wouldn't want to have the negative 
value of a that would be a, a usual solution to that equation right just um, start thinking about that actively as you're doing scholarship questions because often the very last marks in a problem come from rejecting um, invalid solutions because of restrictions right um, that was a detour now we're going to head into our third question which is one that gives you lots of practice with your fractional powers and the log rules again so I'm going to start here by cleaning up the denominator and I'll just leave the, the numerator. So log to base 2 of 64 to the power of 1 quarter minus 10 log to base e of e. So as we're writing that top line, we should be thinking they're all powers of 3. We'll do something with fractional powers in there as well. So in the denominator, I get 1 quarter log to base 2 of 64 minus 10, because this is just 1. And up the top, let's start to do something here. Well, 243 is 3 to the power of 5 times... 3 to the power of 4, 81, times 3 to the 1 third to the power of a half, and that's all to the power of a half. So cleaning up again and changing pen colour, I get 1 half log to base 3 of this, 3 to the power of 5 times 3 with these, I'm going to add the powers, 3 to the power of 13 over 3 to the power of a half, divided by 6 over 4, right, log to base 2 of 64 is 6, 6 over 4 minus 10, and we can simplify that to 3 over 2. So, what have we got now? Well, we've got a half times log to base 3 of 3 to the 5 times 3 to the 13 over 6 divided by 3 over 2 minus 10 gives me 3 minus 20 over 2. So we have a half log to base 3 of 3 to the power of 30 over 6 plus 13 over 6 gives me 43 over 6. I said these were easy. I didn't say they were beautiful and elegant because they definitely are not. All right, so now we've got um, why, log, uh, what am I doing? 43 over 6 log to base 3 of 3 divided by negative 17. And that's times in through by 2 over 2 to deal with these these 2's here. Right log to base 3 of 3 is 1 so my final answer is 43 over negative 102 and we write that as negative 43 over 102. Right so a very useless little negative fraction at the end but that's how it works out. Okay so really important to be confident with your fractional powers and to be able to use them with the log rules. That's all for this video. I'll be back later on with some of the harder problems in the session.